There's a famous quote that says, you know, until one has um, had a relationship with an animal, part of one's soul remains unawakened. This is an abandoned property, and I come and check on this poor little dog. You gonna let me pet you, huh? The dogs have no companionship at all. They're just being left. A lot of the dogs we take on are strays. Stray dogs more than likely end up euthanized. We have a prison system with thousands at minimum security facilities, which can become foster homes in a sense for all those dogs that these animal rescues don't have space for. I think a dog would become a lifeline, sort of the oxygen for these guys. If they came from a pretty bad life, it doesn't seem that hard to find a connection, you know, because they haven't been showing love in a while. Especially this one was found in a dumpster. I don't know who could throw you in a dumpster. Bringing a dog into prison, it's like a taste of freedom. I came around when I was 19. I'll be 33 Tuesday. My kids are teenagers now, so I missed a lot. Even though they've committed a crime, there are some very decent inmates out there. Perfect. I'm actually a recovering drug addict. Going back to drugs, it's not an option for me, period. This training, I think, is tremendously beneficial to the prisoners. Yes, you are beautiful! All of them need a friend. And when you're in here, people forget about you. I'm sure that a lot of these dogs feel the same way, that people forget about them, you know? It's just unconditional love. And the inmates need that, and the dogs need that. Just be patient, be calm, be confident. The dogs are gonna get the confidence they need from you. Yeah, I didn't have more patience when I came here. By having these dogs, they're teaching us patience. But just gotta make them feel safe. I think that's the biggest issue with these dogs is they have a lot of trust issues. I just wanted to realize that, you know, the bad part of our life's over now. There's a lot of macho testosterone floating around in jails. This is what I've seen in my prisoners, for softening people. They don't leave the same way. He trusted me. I used to tell that dog everything. If I had a problem, talk to him, he'd give me that look. It's all right. We feed off each other. You gotta love yourself first before you can love anybody else. The very first dog that I had, he's gone through so much and has changed drastically. And I know seeing that, nothing's impossible. Nothing is impossible.